Everyone good? No worries. Um, thanks for coming this afternoon. Um, police are investigating a matter that occurred at Yatla Labor Prison la yesterday evening, um, where shots were fired into the Yatla guardhouse overnight. Police were called to the Yatla Labor Prison at about 11.30 this morning um, after suspected bullet holes were found in the gatehouse uh, at the entry to the, the Yatla Labor Prison. Um, police searched the area and recovered a number of casings nearby. It's believed that six shots were fired into the guardhouse, but nine casings have been found. The incident was not reported at the time, but it's believed to have happened at around 12.50 a.m. last night. Um, there were no injuries, I repeat, there were no injuries to anyone within the Yatla Labor Prison. Police, are conduct, police from Eastern District are conducting an investigation of this matter at the moment. We have a crime scene attend the scene. Uh, we're also looking at CCTV footage and doing a door knock of the area. We'd ask that anyone that heard anything or saw anything suspicious last, last night around that time to please call Crime Stoppers um, or the Eastern District Police. I would like to now introduce Jackie Bray, um, the Detective Chief Executive of DCS, to have a few words, but I'll take questions after that. Thanks. Hi, good afternoon. The department is working extremely closely with SAPOL into this very serious matter. At no time was the security of the site compromised, and again, I will, I'll confirm that there was no injuries to any staff that's been reported. The department is treating this incident extremely seriously, and additional security is now in place to ensure safety for all staff and visitors. Correctional staff are to be commended for the management of the situation, and the department is currently reviewing if we need to look at any additional safety procedures or any additional things that we need to put in place. Thank you. Okay, how, thank you for that. We take any questions? How close uh, were these shots to guards who were on duty last night? Well, the the information that we have to date, um, not con not sort of um, compromising any of the investigation, is that the shots that were fired into the gatehouse were extremely close to the ceiling and were um, out of earshot or eye shot of any staff. How can how can shots be fired into the Staff identified this incident at, at, a, at only 11 o'clock this morning. So it, was, it wasn't until, because it was an, 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 eye, an eye shot, it wasn't until around 11 o'clock this, this morning when an officer actually noticed that there were some indentations in our gatehouse and it appeared that there were some, um, some levels of art, the glass that was compromised. I didn't hear anything at the time. I mean, neighbours heard several shots being fired at that time, but nothing was heard by the guard? There was no, there was no indication at all for any of the hearing at all, no. Well, again, I'm not going to go into what or how uh, we, are, you know, the conditions and environment that we have as part of our building, and the, you know, I don't want to sort of go into and compromise that. So, just to confirm, no one at the time last night noticed any, heard anything suspicious. That That's correct. Yep. Superintendent, your investigation whether this could be uh, gang-related. Has there been an escalation of um, gang-related incidents lately? Yeah, just in relation to that, um, there is no link at the moment to any current investigation that we have going on. Um, but we do keep an open mind in relation to all these sorts of matters. Um, but as I said, there is no link to any current investigation at the moment. What's the, uh, um, the crime scene has been set up across the road from the outlaw, I understand. Is that related to this? Um, no, I'm not sure. The, the crime scene is around the incident itself. If there's a, if there's a van nearby, that, that will be unrelated. Yeah, I, th I would suggest it's not, not I associated. They, they could be looking across the road. And, and our police, uh, as I said, they're checking CCTV in the area and conducting door, do door knocks in the area. And if, they've, if they put a crime scene around it, then they've located something of interest to them. Do you have any idea how close the... We've, we've heard that there's a car driven by, is that right? Or that's right? Um, yeah, there's, there is a car involved and we're looking at all av avenues of investigation. How close yes. would they have had to have got to the guardhouse? Is that known? Um, what, or firing? Once again, I wouldn't like to speculate on those sorts of things. As I said, it's a current investigation. Um, we believe they were um, uh, a rifle round as such, um, not, so, not so much from a handgun, but I believe it's a rifle round, so, yeah. Could be, some oh. could be some distance away. It, it could be, yes. Yeah. Have you identified any suspects this early stage in the investigation? Um, we're following all leads, and uh, as I said, we're conducting a door knock, looking at CCTV, and uh, keeping all avenues of the investigation open at the moment. Jack, just to confirm, sorry. Corrections, so we're absolutely clear. Corrections staff first noticed the bullet holes at 11am this morning. Correct. 
does that indicate that there is an issue with security at the prison if your guards only notice this almost 10 hours after it happened? Uh, as I said, at the part we, we're still as well looking at that as part of our investigation. What I can say at this moment in time, it wasn't obvious to anybody, we, and it wasn't visible, and let, you know, uh, to anybody other than you know when we had a closer look uh, near the ceiling of, of the particular area. But surely that uh, to have a bullets fired at a major high security prison in the middle of the tent of the city, shouldn't that not be noticed more urgently than 10 hours after the event? Is that not embarrassing for corrections that this has gone unnoticed for 10 hours? Um, you've got to remember the prison was in full lockdown when this actually occurred. It's a very extremely large prison. Um, there was no security system compromised at all, so we're not talking about any indications that could have occurred. Um, we're still yet to have the outcome, a fully outcome of the investigation of, of how or, or what or indeed um, what uh, dam full damage has happened to our particular gatehouse, but we can say that at this moment in time none of the staff heard or saw any, anything to alarm them at all. Um, I, and as I as just point out again, there is no, no security was compromised as part of this particular incident. Why was the prison in lockdown? The prison, it was just after midnight, so there had been full lockdown. Superintendent, do you have a description of the car that you say believed to have been involved in the incident, a colour or a mate? Um, at the moment, we're still looking at all those, all, all, all those avenues, so I would like to nail it down to one vehicle at the moment, but uh, yeah, we are looking at all those avenues. And as I said, we, um, we're looking at CCTV, and we, as you probably know, we've conducted a door knock of the area, and um, yeah, it's an ongoing investigation, so yeah. Jackie, this area that was targeted, can you just explain, it's a, a gatehouse, if I understand? Yeah, so it's um, the entrance. It's like the reception area of the prison. So this is the area that prisoners would um, be released from when they leave prison, the same area? It would indeed, of clearly, of course, not during that time of night, yeah. When you mentioned a consideration of security upgrades, uh, if once hmm. the investigation is finalised, uh, what kind of security uh, measures uh, do you... Um, well, I don't want to speculate if there is any that's necessary at all. At this moment in time, we're just working with staff to ensure that, you know, they don't feel at all um, that there's any other compromise. We're sharing what we already know to date and, and just really having a, another look to see if there's anything additional that we need to put in place. Are you, are you putting anything additional in place right away? Not, um, I don't believe so. Perhaps some, well, sorry, uh, we're putting some additional, sorry, we're putting some additional support in um, patrols as part of SEPO. Um, you might want to... Yeah, so just in relation to that, as we were with any incident of this calibre, uh, we would put additional uh, focus on that particular uh, area. So we are putting, having an additional focus on the external of Yatla Labour Prison and also the environment around it, as we would with any other business that this occurred to. As I say, it's pretty, it's, it, I just want to just uh, reinforce the point though. It's extremely, you know, it's an extremely concerning uh, incident. This is clearly some, you know, somebody that, uh, or, or, you know, individuals that we, we are concerned about. Uh, just because we think that you know we think that there's adequate security in place at the moment doesn't mean to say that there's any level of compromise that has occurred due to this incident. Has this ever happened before at the prison? Not that I'm aware of, no. Is, is the gatehouse alarmed? So if, the, if there was a more serious attack yes. on the gatehouse, alarmed? Just, well, just again, alarmed. without going into the security operations of our business, it would be wrong of me to do that and have that in the community. It would certainly compromise us. But I can alert, you know, I can advise you that we have all of the required. Um, security systems that we have in place. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.